Hey guys, welcome to Code and Box Automation Lab. This is Shoreful. In this lecture, we're going to see how you can execute your Selenium code without your driver or binary. Like we all know that in Selenium world, you have to declare your driver exe file, whether it's Chrome driver or Firefox or Gecko driver, you know, or IE driver, you know, whether using system.set property or you can use third-party uh, API which is web driver manager right so you can use this line too so I think I mean the first one was like we'll have to always use this one and to avoid and to use this like a uh, declaring your driver like a driver key and the value you know we always had one of the issue like a driver compatibility issue with the browser and to resolve that issue you know the web driver API manager comes to the picture that automatically handle your driver and resolve that issue and then now even you can ignore to write any code related uh, your system.set property to declare your driver or your web driver manager it will run without even those declaring your driver I mean it's not you will need the driver but you don't have to declare in your code you can see this is a very simple uh, example over here I have a class and here is a, my system set property and web driver both are in comment and I just use like web driver equals a new Chrome driver let me run then I will explain you how it's working if I run it you will see Here we go. Okay, it's a very simple uh, code. It's uh, you saw that the page got invoked and it's loaded, and, and the code was is about like uh, get the title and the print it and then the uh, quit the driver. So here is the you can see the console output, right? You can see it over here. This is the uh, output over here. This is the title of the page. So the page got invoked and loaded, and without my system to set property using or web driver manager using how it works. If you are familiar or if you are always know that up to date the news or release uh, for the recent release, uh, let me explain you. And here is the Selenium release log and if you go way back we uh, you know uh, four point version four point six here is a version four point six so from the version four point six so one of the release very important release they added it's you can see over here selenium it's add initial support for selenium manager so this is the magic the selenium manager inbuilt you know features that uh, was released from version 4.6 and upper so any other version it's always comes with selenium manager and what is selenium manager does it is an inbuilt feature that comes with selenium that all the driver you require whether it's gecko driver firefox ie driver like web driver api manager used to do now it's inbuilt this features comes with the behind the scene and it's this selenium manager you know handle your driver requirement whatever driver you need behind the scenes it, it will you know uh, check your browser I mean your 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 code and based on your browser you know it will uh, download and it will inject your project so that's the way so moving forward from selenium version 4.6 all other versions so above 4.6 4.6 or above all the version now have a selenium uh, manager which is handle handling behind the scene your driver requirement so now let's get back to my projects here is my pom.xml file if you see my pom.xml file here I can show you this is a selenium I'm using right now selenium java 4 4.82 so definitely it should have the selenium manager and it has and that's why you know I was able to run the project my, my code without the driver declaration right so here you can see so let me show you so where is the this is the related project I can just show you and if you go the maven dependency 
and if you let me make it bigger if you go all the way down you can see here is a uh, it should have a selenium manager uh, 8.2 selenium manager here you can see this is a selenium manager you see selenium manager this is the features so as I said from 4.6 to above all the version have selenium manager you can see there is a jar file 4.82 so this is the version I have and this is a selenium manager and if you drop down you, you know this you open this one and you will see over here you know it has a selenium manager you know uh, selenium manager package over here you can see this in underneath packet you can see over here there's a three different you know uh, uh, module you can see one is like selenium manager for Linux so if you run your pro project uh, your code in Linux so based on Linux or Mac you know so so that is a for Mac environment uh, like uh, whatever the you know the browser you have like uh, you know uh, it will will handle and also it based on your Windows. So all different operating system related, all the related the supported browser, you know the driver, it comes underneath this. Okay, so here is the Selenium. You can see uh, all all of them, uh, you know, so related uh, the driver it should it should be come over here. Okay, that's the Selenium manager. So Selenium manager is the magic features that handle your you know driver issue so there is so moving forward you don't need to write any more system or set properties or even third party uh, you know the API which is web driver manager we are used to use so you know feel free write your code without driver declaration so that's that's the uh, result a lot of issues and it makes uh, you know the selenium's uh, uh, the guys uh, uh, you know their code much more simpler and easier and resolve some of the compatible issue okay so beside one thing you know uh, uh, apart from that uh, there is one more thing so we all know that you know selenium pushing uh, to update our uh, java browser uh, you know the java uh, version 11 or 17 so if you are using java 11 you know there is a one things that's a required for http client so before java 11 like when you used to java 8 we had a Selenium HTTP client was asynchronized, asynchronized, you know, HTTP client. Uh, it was, uh, you know, open source library built on on the top of the Nidi. So, this is the HTTP client. Async HTTP client was used to use, uh, you know, with the Java 8. But if you use Java 11, so from the Java 11, you know, they say that you know it will be replaced the async with this. Uh, with a HTTP is a inbuilt HTTP and web socket client is going to use for Java 11 so if you use the Java 11 you know you need I mean it is an inbuilt support like web socket client HTTP inbuilt support and and a web socket socket client and to use this one you know you have to add a dependency on your pom.xml file here is the dependency you can see uh, dependency for this one here is dependency right so you can see selenium uh, http jdk client and this is that so whatever the your selenium java version say whether it's 4.5 or 8.2 so you you need the same you know uh http client uh you know jdk uh over here so like on your dependency okay so as an example and also you need to add you know another system dot set properties you know in your code like over here this one okay so here uh, I can uh, you know if you go your pom.xml file you know so here is you can see so my version selenium is 4.82 so I'm using selenium HTTP JDK client 4.82 same okay so you can use this one you know if you get any WebSocket related issues then I would say that you know add this dependency you can you can add it from uh, from a maven repository just go over here just type over here uh, HTTP just type over here selenium HTTP JD, JDK client hit enter and then go there and you can find all the you know related versions since it's introduced from 4.5 so 4.5 or above any version you use you can you know whatever the version of selenium Java you are going to use use the same HTTP client, you know, uh, jar. So example, 8.2 or 8.3. So you can just copy the code and 
and place on your pom.xml file like yeah over here for my code i have a selenium java 4.82 so i use the same 4.82 over here and on the top on your on your code right so on your code just run it it should work if we have a if you get any error related with the web socket or http you know a issue you know then uh, you can add that extra line as i showed over here so at the beginning over here system.set properties web driver is to factory this one this line okay just run it if you see issues just add this line you know at the uh, beginning like we use a system.set properties uh, method right so that's all for today i uh, hope uh, you know it uh, makes our life easier and much uh, simpler have a good one bye bye